So, hello friends. In this video, we will see another rule to solve syllogism problems. Okay. Till now, we have seen three rules. So, that is all plus all will give the all and all plus no will give the result of no and all plus some will give no conclusion. Will give no conclusion. Okay, so in this video, we will see another rule. So the rule is sum plus all will give the sum. Okay, sum plus all will give the sum. So now we will see how we can use this rule. Okay, so let us consider two syllogism statements. First one is some parrots are doves. Some parrots are doves. This is the first illusion given. And the second one is all doves are peacocks. All doves are peacocks. Okay. So the first conclusion given is all peacocks are doves. And the second conclusion given is some peacocks are some peacocks are some peacocks are parrots. Okay. So we have to select A if conclusion one is alone true. We have to select B if conclusion two two is alone true either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 is true we have to select C if both the conclusions are not true we have to select D if both the conclusions are true we have to select E right so if you observe the given two syllogisms first one is starting with some and the second one is starting with all and here the predicate of the first syllogism is equivalent to the subject of the second syllogism so in this case we cancel these two which are equal. So that is the predicate of the first syllogism and the subject of the second syllogism. So from this we get so sum plus all will give the sum according to the this rule. So here we get sum. So here the subject may be we can take from the first one that is maybe parrots or peacocks. So, if you are taking this one as a subject and this one will become predicate, okay. If you are taking this one as a uh, subject, then this one will become predicate. So, that means here we can derive two statements, okay. So, first I am taking this parrots as a subject. So, that means some parrots are peacocks, some parrots are peacocks, okay. So, I can use this peacocks is also as a subject. So, that means uh, I will get another conclusion from these two statements. That is, some peacocks are parrots. Some peacocks are parrots. Okay. So, whenever there is a sum plus all is equal, whenever the first syllogism starts with some and the second syllogism starts with all, and the first syllogism's predicate and second syllogism's subject of both are equal. In that case, the resultant conclusion is going to be contain sum. Okay. I mean the resultant conclusion will start with sum. Okay. So the subject may be here. You can take the subject of the first syllogism or you can take the predicate of the second syllogism also as a subject. Okay, so if you are taking this one as a subject, this one will become predicate. If you are taking this peacocks as a subject, then parrots will become your predicate in the conclusions, right? So that's why I got two conclusions here. So now I will check if any one of the given conclusions are matching with the derived conclusions. So if you see here that some peacocks are parrots, so some peacocks are parrots, the second derived conclusion is matching with the second conclusion. So that means actually this one is true. I mean the second conclusion given is true. Now 
all peacocks are doves all peacocks are doves but actually here in the second statement given is all doves are peacocks so the second syllogism given is all doves are peacocks but here the first conclusion given is all peacocks are doves so when we reverse this doves and peacocks when we interchange this doves and peacocks then all will become some okay in the first or second video of this uh, video series i told them so whenever you are interchanging subject and predicate then all will become some so from this second statement alone we can derive some peacocks are doves some peacocks are doves but in the conclusions we have given that they have given that all peacocks are doves but actually in the conclusion in the derived conclusion we got some peacocks are doves so that's why this one is going to be false so that means the second statement alone is true the second statement alone is true so that means we have to select the option b okay so i hope you got this one okay so whenever some or all is there you can take the first uh, the subject of the first statement as the subject or you can take this one as a predicate also so first time we take this parrot as a subject here and second time we take parrots as a predicate here right so so the predicate in the second statement whenever the first statement start with some and the second statement so starts with all so then the predicate of the second statement can be a subject or a predicate in the derivation so here we take first time as a i mean second here first time we take this one as a subject and here we took it one as a predicate okay so whenever some plus all is there so you can derive two conclusions okay so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel